article on the law of attraction, which has to do with the vision boards you just created. So positive thoughts equals positive actions, and that's what the article is about. I'm going to go through these steps with you. So let's just look at the steps first before I actually do them. So the first part we want to do is we want to read our first paragraph, and then we're going to reread it to make sure we understand what the author is trying to say. And then after that, we're going to simplify it. And by doing that, we're going to underline or highlight things that we think are important in that one paragraph. And then from there, then we write our summary, okay? And we're going to use what we simplified to write our summary, okay? So you can follow along with your article, and I'm just going to read the first paragraph, okay? In accordance with the law of attraction, you attract into your life those things, circumstances, and conditions that correspond with the nature of your dominant Habitual thoughts and beliefs, both conscious and subconscious. Every area of your life, including your health, your finances, and all of your relationships, are influenced by this great universal law that like attracts like. Eugene Ferson and the science of being refer to the law of attraction as the basic law of the universe. So that's the first paragraph. This could be the first time we're hearing about the law of attraction, so it might be a lot of information to take on the first go around. So we're going to follow step one, and we're going to reread that paragraph again. Okay, so follow along. In accordance with the law of attraction, you attract into your life those things, circumstances, and conditions that correspond with the nature of your dominant habitual thoughts and beliefs, both conscious and subconscious. Every area of your life, including your health, your finances, and all of your relationships are influenced by this great universal law that like attracts like. Eugene Ferson in The Science of Being referred to the law of attraction as the basic law of the universe. So now that I reread it, now I'm going to go through and I'm going to try to simplify and I'm just going to pick the parts that I think are most important that the author wanted me to know. So I'm going to underline. You can underline or highlight. It's up to you. Okay? So to begin with, I know the first paragraph is on the law of attraction. So that's definitely important. Now what is the law of attraction? And the author tells us, you attract into your life. Things, circumstances, and conditions that correspond with your thoughts and beliefs. So I kind of skipped over some words. The first time I read it, I kind of didn't even know how to say habitual. Maybe I don't even know what that word means. But to understand what the author is saying, I might not need to know what that word means. Okay? So I'm going to keep going. The author also, also tells me that area, every area of my life is influenced. Okay? So now I have the important information from that paragraph. So now I'm going to go to step three, which is to write my summary. I'm going to write the summary on the board, and you guys can take the paper that's there, and you can write the summary. So everybody's going to have the same summary for the first paragraph. Okay? So I want to kind of bring my simplification together into a short summary. Okay? And it should always be in complete sentences. So I'm going to start the law of attraction. influences every area of your life. And I'm going to go back 
up to the first part. The law of attraction influences every area of your life by attracting into your life the things, circumstances, and conditions that correspond with your thoughts and beliefs. So by attracting into your life the things thoughts and beliefs. So I was able to take that paragraph and put it into one sentence, okay? I don't want you to be too caught up on having to fit everything into one sentence, but it should be short. So a sentence may be two at the most, okay? 